promotional consideration paid for by the following. Calling all gamers. Dubby Energy has arrived. Dubby contains natural coffee extracts and neurofactors and none of the fillers, which means no crashing. With flavors like Dub Sludge, Dragonade, and Beach and Peach, Dubby will surely be your go-to energy drink from now on. Head over to dubby.gg and type in our promo code GAS, G-A-A-S, for 10% off your purchase. Dubby Energy, be better. I don't talk about TV related things when it comes to things that no one talks about. Despite the fact that I've already done an episode of the one no one talks about on a TV show. That TV show being Code Monkeys. You can check that out in this link right here. But given that this particular subject was adapted into a video game, a good one at that. I say, why not bring him up? Uh, you have your cartoon characters. You have cartoon characters who were adapted into video games. Almost all of them, you name them, they've been adapted. Mickey Mouse, Bugs Bunny, Garfield, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Any character, any cartoon character you can think of, one way or another, were adapted into a video game. So, let me ask you all something. And feel free to chime in the comment section, because we need to get these comment sections lit. So, I'm going to start initiating conversations here. Why is no one talking about Felix the Cat? Felix the Cat... Let's be real, if it wasn't for Felix, there would be no cartoon characters. If it wasn't for Felix the Cat, there would be no Mickey Mouse. If they, yeah, uh, yeah, I said it again. If it wasn't for Felix the Cat, there would be no Mickey Mouse. Hell, if there was no Felix the Cat, there'd be no Garfield. There'd be no Heathcliff. There'd be no Eek. There, he, name, name a cat cartoon character. Felix did it first. Hell. Sonic the Hedgehog wouldn't be a thing if it wasn't for Felix the Cat. Felix the Cat was the very first anthropomorphic animal cartoon character ever made. He was created in 1919, just over a hundred years ago. I mean, come on. Felix has done it all. He's had the feet, he started in the feline follies, then he had the first. Some of the first sound cartoons, one of the Felix, Felix with the goose that laid the golden egg, an absolute classic. He had the 1953 TV series where he finally has a magic bag, where he's walking around with a magic bag, his bag of tricks. We don't know where he got that bag from. It's never explained. We just know he has it. He has an infinite amount of magic in that bag. He can literally turn that bag into anything. He can do anything with it. It's literally, that bag is like carrying around Kirby's stomach. And then you have his set of characters who are coming after you. You have the professor. That's it, the professor. Guess what? If it wasn't for the, for the professor, there'd be no Dr. Robotnik. You can at me on that one, too. You have the professor. You have Poindexter. That's right. The term Poindexter came from Felix the Cat, from the character Poindexter, the nephew of the professor. They were equally smart, but they were never able to thwart Felix or steal his bag. Then you have Felix's dickhead rival, a big old bulldog, cigar-smoking bulldog named Rock Bottom. The TV series lasted a while. The TV series was a hit. It brought Felix back to the limelight. Then he disappeared again. Then he had a big old resurgence in the 90s. Let me tell you a quick story. Back before the Disney Channel became a safe haven for teeny boppers and high school musicals and Hannah Montana's and all the bullshit, they used to air a lot of good stuff, not just Disney stuff. They would air things from Hanna-Barbera, from Warner Brothers. 
I mean, you saw Bugs Bunny on the Disney Channel. You saw Big Bird on the Disney Channel. You also saw Felix the Cat on the Disney Channel because they literally played Felix the Cat the movie on repeat. I mean, I loved that movie when I was a kid. I was a, that was a guilty pleasure of mine. A lot of people hate that movie. I absolutely love it. I mean, you can ask my mom. She she walked in on me watching it plenty of times. Yeah, he sure did. And honestly, seeing that movie is what prompted me to want to go to Blockbuster and literally rent every Felix the Cat video they had so I can watch all the cartoons. Yeah, he sure did. And then comes the topic, well, what was the topic of this video, because this was going to be about solely about the game, but I decided to make it about the character as well. Uh, yeah, the video game. I remember getting, I had a subscription to Nintendo Power when I was a kid, and I remember getting the issue with Felix on the cover, and I was excited to see Felix was getting a video game. I don't remember when exactly it launched. I did not get the game at launch. Because I got sick. Yeah, when I was eight years old. 1992. Yeah, I was eight years old in 1992. I got sick with pneumonia. Yeah, badly. Almost killed me. Um, I remember laid up in bed home from school, that was probably the best part about being sick with pneumonia was the fact that I ain't have to go to school, watching all the TV, watching all the stuff that everybody was missing in school, and I remember my mom coming home with two things from Blockbuster, she rented me a copy of Three Ninjas, and she rented a copy of Felix the Cat for the NES. I wasted no time crawling my sick ass out of bed, popping that game in the NES, and literally playing through the entire game in a matter of hours. I was disappointed at how short I felt the game was, and I was also disappointed at how easy the game was, because that game is easy. You will literally beat this game the first time you play it. It's that simple. It's the mechanics are very simple. Very everything about it. So you can speed run this game. You can you can play this game regularly. Speed run this game. It has about eight levels. Uh, of course, you play as Felix. You have to rescue his girlfriend Kitty from the professor, who you know kidnapped. He kidnapped Kitty because he was hoping to lure, use her to lure Felix in so he could steal the magic bag. Felix uses the magic bag as a weapon. A, you know, he starts off his base form with a little punchy gimmick, and then he transforms once you collect enough, you collect enough of these little Felix icons with his face on them, um, you get these little bottles of what look like milk, but those are like bottles of like energy or whatever, but then you collect the heart, it transforms you into the next form of your magic. His second form of his magic is like this weird top hat, top hat cane suit thing where he the late, he shoots stars from his body when he laughs. I mean, it's a pretty interesting attack. Then his third attack, he's driving a car, beeping the horn and knocking enemies off. And his fourth attack is a tank, which is pretty powerful. And then, and then you know, that's just on the ground. Then you have the stages where you're in the air. Felix has a umbrella. He has a he has a hot air balloon, and then he has a plane. And then you have the stages where he's underwater. You know, he's got a little snorkel. He's swimming. Then he swims on. Then he has a dolphin, and then he has a submarine. It's like he has some great weapons against such weak enemies. And then you have your boss characters. Of course, you got. You got Poindexter, you got Rock Bottom, you have the Master Cylinder, Felix the Cat, the game, honestly, it's fun, but it's way too easy. It was also ported to the Game Boy, 
a year later. And that version is even easier than the NES version. And there's less levels. So I I still recommend you go out and play the play the games. There it, it was a great adaption. It was very well done, but the problem is it's just too easy. But again, you be the judge. Check it out for yourself any way you can. And honestly, Felix the Cat is one of my all-time favorite cartoon characters. And the fact that he hasn't gotten enough appreciation or love over the years just kills me. Now, I do understand there's a brand new Felix the Cat comic that was just released. Uh, I read some of it. What I read of it was great. But I'm not satisfied with a comic. DreamWorks owns Felix the Cat currently. I want a damn movie. I want a new movie. I want a new TV series. I don't care what it takes. Hopefully somebody over there at Comcast who works within DreamWorks sees this video and hears these, what I'm saying right now. We need another Felix the Cat movie. Hell, I'll voice him. I don't even care. I'm, a, I'm available. We gotta make it happen. Make a new Felix the Cat movie. Let's make it happen. But all the Felix's stuff is available on YouTube if you want to check it out. Do yourself a favor. Go out your way and check out Felix the Cat. All the cartoons. Some of them are funny as hell. Some of them are weird. But, I mean, there was nothing like it. And like I said, if it wasn't for Felix, your favorite cartoon characters wouldn't exist. So let me know in the comment section. Have you ever seen Felix the Cat? Have you ever, you know, played the game? Have you ever played Felix the Cat on the NES or the Game Boy? Did you own it? Who are some of your favorite cartoon characters? I can go on all day about my favorite cartoon characters, but I'm going to save that for another video because it's time for me to wrap this video up. So if you like what you saw, if you enjoy my rambling, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, Join the gas family, the ever-growing gas family, and smack the hell out of that notification bell so that way you know when we go live with brand new content such as this. We are on the absolute rise right now. We just hit monetization. And I have to thank each and every one of you for sticking around and supporting us since we started back in 2020. I know I, we haven't been very consistent here at GAS. Life is crazy. Things are happening. And um, I'm doing videos where I can. And I'm trying to get at least four videos out a month. Maybe a tad more. But I'm trying to level up the consistency. So I apologize. Just bear with me. And thanks again for sticking sticking for sticking around and I love each and every one of you thank you you're the reason why I do this and I love entertaining all of you Mike loves entertaining all of you the gas crew when they're around they love entertaining all of you and uh, we're going to keep on keeping on so with that being said we'll see you in the next video Brown out Radio Felix the Cat the wonderful wonderful cat whenever he gets in he reaches into his bag of tricks